Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to be doing an update to my deck of panning project pans. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. Before we get into that though, if you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. All right, you guys, so it is time for another deck of panning project pan update. I'm filming this a bit early, but that's okay. Um, this is a project created by Emily and Max. I will link her channel down below as well as all the information you need to know about this project. But essentially, you probably already know this, but we are taking a deck of cards, assigning each card a prompt, and then the prompts change every month on the game board, and it's a whole lot of fun. So be sure to check out the project playlist and everyone doing this project. There are so many people doing it. It's a popular project for a reason. Um, but let's just hop into this update. Okay, so my long haul product in this project is my ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter. This is in for the prompt, another project, um, or it's similarly worded to that. Um, and I chose Color Pan, which is created by Misty, who will always be linked down below for that prompt. And I, again, only use this four times, but this is what we're looking like. Slowly, slowly chipping away at this. I've been reaching... Well, I can't say I've really been reaching for this more, but I feel gravitated to this one a little bit more. I did finish, or I did hit my goal um, after posting my update for um, it's Panning Punk, where I was panning the Ritual Defeat highlighter. So I have one less highlighter to work on, so now I can divide my attention a little bit more equally between this one and my Noblo one I'm also panning. So four uses on this. Hopefully I can bump up that progress soon, though. Then I got the prompt astrology and I'm a Gemini. I decided to look up Gemini colors and I found this beautiful shade of like pinky purple and I love this blush from ColourPop. It's the shade Night Bloom and I am trying to hit pan on it. I think I can see the rings over here so hopefully we'll be hitting pan pretty soon. There is a really big dip. Sorry if you hear Scooter in the background. He is awoken. Um, but yeah, I have a pretty big um, dip on this blush. I've been really enjoying this. I used this nine times in the last month. Perfect shade for spring. Really been enjoying this. Really hope I can hit pan on this soon. So I got the prompt brand new, and so I chose all of my new single shadows that I have not touched. I guess they're not all like new new, but they are new in the sense that they haven't been used on my eyes. This was also kind of inspired by Dani, who's doing something very similar with her indie single shadows for me in her uh, Panners Pan project pan. So, um, this palette, how I have it set up, might be a little confusing. So, ignore these two down here. I had all of these eyeshadows to work on, um, and I have used these five over here. Um, these are three Davina shades. Yeah. Um, so this green one is a Copacetic Cosmetics shadow. These three are Davina, and this one is Cleona. And then I have three Cleona shades up here and two Davina that I still have to use. These are new to my collection. These came in my Copacetic Cutie box that I'm subscribed to, which I always forget to put into my monthly hauls. But these came in. I'm not going to count that for this project, um, but they are, they are in here. So those were the majority of the shadows I rolled in. And then I rolled in two Tara Munch eyeshadows. So again, I don't know why I have this laid out all weird, but I rolled in these two over here. Um, I used the shade Gamma Ray already, and then I still need to use Helix Nebula over here, and then this one, which is called Shattered Stars, I have already used outside of this project. So, I have six shadows left to go, um, and I'm hoping to meet that goal by my next update, because once I move into my house, I would like to just, um, organize all my single shadows now that I'll have more space to kind of lay them all out and organize my single shadows. So hoping I can hit or I can meet that goal by the next update. And then I got the prompt in A to Z shade and I got the letter N and I rolled in a lip liner. This is the Nabla Close Up Lip Shaper in the shade Nude number four. I am wearing it today um, mixed with a few other lip products. The ColourPop BFF Lippy Lippy pencil and then the ColourPop cookie lipstick and then I decided I wanted a, it a little bit darker so I did kind of shade in a little bit this more warm toned darker nude for me um and I have used this um actually my numbers are off because I did not include my makeup today um I used this four times in the last month um and my goal is to use it 15 more times so I do have 11 more uses to go maybe I can have this out by the next month not really sure 
And lastly, I got the Prompt Indie, and I decided to roll in my Tower 28 um, Bronzino Bronzer in the shade West Coast, and I have actually hit pan. Um, wasn't expecting that. Um, I have used this actually 11 times. If I was filming this closer to when I'm going to post it, I would probably have met my goal. Um, so I'm going to preemptively roll something in for this, but I will update you guys next month on the progress on this. I go back and forth on if I like this product. I feel like the only way I can get it to work for me is if I use my fingers and then just press it into the skin and carefully blend it out. Otherwise, it can look really, really muddy on me. Um, now that I have a pan, I'm like, I just want to maybe keep it. Um, I have no one to give it to. But yeah, I do like the effect it has on my face when it looks nice on my face um but i really don't like that i can't use a brush with it because i just prefer blush or brush application i don't like to use my fingers for my, my makeup um but i do think i'll keep it around and hopefully use it more this summer um but yeah this should be done by the next month so hopefully this hopefully the lip liner maybe um in the shadows and then hopefully also hitting pan and night bloom so next month could potentially be a big month potentially we'll see um but that means we are rolling in just one new card just preemptively for that bronzino product so i've already pre-shuffled my cards but i will shuffle it really quickly a few more times um i have not again i have not looked at the game board we'll see what we get hopefully we don't get the joker i've not gotten it yet this year hopefully hopefully i don't get it <laughs> Or do I want to get it? I don't know. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to cut the deck like this. And we will go with the first card, which is Seven of Clubs. So let me pull up the prompt list because I am ill-prepared. Um, and let's see what Seven of Clubs is. If Google Sheets could behave on my phone, um, that would be nice. Okay, so Seven of of clubs is spring okay well we're in spring <laughs> so let me take a second and figure out what i want to do for spring and i'll be right back okay i'm back and that was harder than it should be <laughs> because i didn't know what to pick and i didn't want to pick eyeshadow but i picked eyeshadow and what i picked is the pastel pup palette from menagerie because pastels for spring Totally groundbreaking concept here. <laughs> um, but this is a newer palette to my collection, and I've been enjoying it so far. I think it's a really nice accent palette, especially. I've made looks with this and just accompanying palettes, and so I don't want to do No Pen Left Behind. What do I want to do? Mm, okay. Okay, so I've been hemming and hawing about what I want to do with this. And so I've decided I'm going to do this no pan left behind style times two. So I just want to use every shadow at least twice and then I can roll this palette out. So that will, I don't think I've used all of the shades in this palette. I think I've used most of them. So that'll get um, some good use on this palette. I will I'll often use this as a companion palette. So um, yeah, we're going to do no pan left behind style times two um and that'll be what i'm rolling in so thank you so much for watching um sorry it wasn't like the most thrilling update but we should have a pretty good month next month so i'm really excited about that i can't wait to see everyone's updates and how you guys are all doing in this project let me know down below as always thank you so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe leave a comment if you like down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye